Hello and welcome to another episode of the monthly Siebel CRM update series. In the Siebel CRM 22.10 update, the only feature listed is OCI, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, AI services integration. The OCI AI services are a collection of services with pre-built machine learning models. You can go to oracle.com, artificial intelligence AI services, and learn more about it. And we will talk a little bit about this in this presentation. The pre-built integration of Siebel CRM with those OCI AI services leverages the OCI Java SDK, the software developer kit for Java, and has, as a result of that, a new Java business service, which acts as the connector between Siebel and Oracle Cloud infrastructure. Oracle has also created two out-of-the-box use cases to demonstrate the capabilities, and they elected the OCI language and speech services for those use cases. The language use case demonstrates how to identify PII, personal identifiable information, in a service request description field using named entity recognition or NER. When any email or phone number is detected, in the description field when saving a service request, there is a warning displayed that such personal identifiable information is present in the record and a new flag has been introduced, the PII flag, that is set to yes if there is PII and set to no if there's no PII. The speech use case works on service request attachments. There's a new transcribe button which allows the user to select a WAF file attachment and upon hitting the transcribe button, OCI speech recognition will transcribe the audio content in a text file and that text file will be uploaded as a new attachment for the user to open. Let's take a look at the OCI AI services at the time of this recording in October 22, the Oracle website lists the language service, which has sub is supported out of the box in 22.10 and higher with the named entity recognition. The language service also supports th features like sentiment analysis or text categorization. The speech service can extract text from audio and video files. This is also supported for audio files in 22.10. And the other services, digital assistant, vision, anomaly detection or forecasting are not included in the out of the box use cases, but there are ways to connect to OCI, even in earlier versions of Siebel CRM and use these services. Let's take a quick look at the resulting architecture of the OCI AI services integration. So on the object manager in the application or EI object manager, the, there are two business services, the OCI AI service, which supports the out of the box use cases written by Oracle uh, and subsequently invokes the OCI AI web service. So that's the main generic connector service, which can be invoked in any usual traditional way, internal as a web service, uh, sorry, business service, or by, as like any other business service, inbound REST calls. The OCI AI web service is a Java business service. So the, at, ru at runtime, the code is executed as Java class code on the internal application container or AKA SES Tomcat. The OCI SDK libraries are present on that Tomcat along with an OCI config file with the user credentials and details of the OCI tenancy account and the private key file of that account. So this allows the secure connectivity to Oracle Cloud where the AI services API is invoked and also object storage is used 
for the speech recognition to upload the audio file and to download the resulting text file. Major building block of the OCI AI integration is the OCI AI web service. As we have said, it's a Java business service acting as the generic connector to OCI AI services, invoking the API and also allowing file upload and download. So it has methods for that. It's like any other business service, you can invoke it internally as discussed, you can call it through the Siebel inbound REST API. Before you do that, you have to add it to the business service access list as usual. And below on the screenshot, you see an example body um, input arguments for the business service uh, calling the language sentiments API. So that is not an out of the box use case, but as we have seen, it's supported as well. And if you are eager to learn all about this new and exciting OCI AI services integration, we are about to publish in a short notice a new module to the Siebel 22 Plus workshop completely dedicated to the OCI AI services integration in 22.10 and higher and also dedicated to understanding the capabilities of the out of the box integration and how to create a custom OCI AI service if you wish. So make sure to check out the Siebel CRM training page on siebelhub.com for updates. Let's take a moment to discuss how to get to the latest Siebel CRM release. So 22.10 it is, whatever release IP17 and higher you are on, you have to run the update process for all your environments. Let's start with the development or DR environment. So you take a backup of the environment and database, make sure everything is stopped, then run the MDE installer, which includes the option to run the post install database update automatically. You must make sure that post install DB update is run successfully. And if you want to include the OCI AI services integration, then you have to run the repository upgrade and successfully so then you might have some configurations that you also do in the repository and you test and deliver your repository changes. You might have some administrative changes along the way, depending on the gap you're bridging between your Siebel versions. And after implementing any changes on the administrative side that are necessary, you are done with the development environment. On test and production or RR environments, the process is a little bit shorter. So you still have to back up everything. You have to bring the environment down, run the MDE, run post install database update. And if you have repository changes, very likely so, if you're interested in the OCI AI integration, then you have to make sure that the repository changes and any C data changes are successfully migrated using the migration application. Then you might or might not have administrative changes to implement. And once they are implemented, you are done with the test or production update. Keep in mind that updating means going from any IP 17 or higher version to the latest Siebel release as opposed to upgrade. So the lower portion of the slide shows the upgrade path. If your environment is on IP16 or earlier, all the way down to 7.53, uh, does Oracle support an upgrade? The older the version, the more effort it is to upgrade. So if you come from seven dot releases, um, like 7.5 and 7.7, you have a two-step upgrade. If you come from 7.8 to 8.2, you have a one-step full upgrade with a high interactivity to open UI migration. If you are on a modern IP innovation pack release, such as innovation pack 13 or 14, 15, 16, it's IRM. 
it's the incremental repository merge that you do with if you haven't implemented OpenUI already in those IP releases, then you have to migrate to OpenUI. And keep in mind that an upgrade is a complex project where you have to ask for help usually by system integrators or Oracle and the duration is measured in person months, not, if not person years, as opposed to an update once you are up upgraded to the modern Siebel infrastructure, then you can do very quick updates measured in days at most to get from any version on IP17 or on continuous update releases such as 18.x to 22.x to the latest 22.x or higher. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, very quick Siebel CRM update highlight summary. Thanks for watching. Take care and bye-bye.